The arcades have come home, Brad Shoemaker. I love arcades, Jeff. Well, great, because this is <laughs> Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. All right. Uh, but it, this is an Xbox 360. That's so. right. It's the arcade edition of a game that over here was never really in arcades. Right. I guess, I guess there is a Japanese yeah, arcade version. Yeah, it's a Japanese arcade version. And, uh, they brought it out over here as DLC, and then uh, they're replacing Super Street Fighter 4 disc versions with arcade edition discs at the end of this month, I guess. Um, so actually, they, they've put a really helpful 10-page uh, thing in here wow. that actually says what this is. In-game manual. Yeah, so four new characters. Yun and Yang uh, from the Street Fighter 3 game sure. uh, coming at you. Great. And then Evil Ryu and Oni. Uh, Oni looks kind of like Akuma? Uh, Oni shares some characteristics with Akuma, but, he's but, not but supposed to be. wise it's not necessarily okay. a, a one-to-one. And he's not supposed to be the same guy, right? I, I, don't know, I have no idea about You're, the You haven't been the keeping up with the, stuff. the rich, with, yeah. elaborate fiction. So you actually can go and switch back to regular Super Street Fighter 4. Uh, from the options menu there, they've got an indicator there that says that stuff, and, and that's useful because there, there are, are uh, balance changes in, in the game, and, and uh, you know you, it's still compatible with people that have not purchased uh, AE, uh, though they have to download a free update kit to to make it work, I guess. Uh, he says lobby names now. Uh, you got to, you can watch uh, replays out of the leaderboards. Uh, they've got a new elite channel that focuses on the the best players. Which I feel like if I wanted to see the best players play this game, I would have to go to a Japanese arcade because none of them are playing home versions at all. Right. And even the ones that are, I'm sure, are playing on the PS3. So, uh, you know, you're getting a subset of a subset when you sure. go to these Xbox 360 leaderboards, I bet. Um, you know, some, some other enhancements to the, to the replay stuff. You can follow people and get their replays. That's cool. You can only follow, like, five people. That's uh, less cool. Le a little less cool than. Can you than that. can you just go through like? Does it say replays of every match they play, or do they have to manually say? I think it's it might just be the good ones, but okay. it, could, it could just be it could be all of them. Okay, uh, I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Because like coming from StarCraft, that game saves. Granted, it's on a computer, right? But it saves a replay of every match you play. Exactly. Ever. Yeah. So, uh, and and this does too locally. Okay. So you know, okay. it, it's it's theoretically doing that, but sure. um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, new titles and icons they've got, and then this page here, which dictates, you know, if you just download that update, update kit, then you get the, uh, the replay channel updates, and you get to actually see the four new characters there. Cool. Um, but you have to you have to spend the 15 bucks if you want uh, the full the full thing. Dirty so dog. You've got a controller there, and you are you are sitting yeah. face off with the dirty dog. I gotta, I gotta warn you, this controller is flashing. So oh, it's the battery, and, and also it's a regular yes. Xbox yes. 360 I'm gonna, controller. I'm going to cop to my handicap right now. This is a regular controller. I've got my joystick. I brought uh, it in. Oh, there it goes again. I, I apologize if this thing cuts out. Live television, folks. Hit start, dude. All right. All right, so uh, yeah, I got these new guys here over to the side. I don't have a clue how Yun and Yang play. I'm not, not a Street Fighter 3 guy in, in the slightest. Same here. Yeah. So after this <laughs> fight, we can pick those guys All right. and, and, you know, really stink it up. Let's figure that out. But first... Uh, pick some colors here. Okay, sorry. Uh, first, these guys. Obviously, what this game needed was more Shotokan characters. Yeah, Oni's not quite... Not really like that? But he, he does, I mean... He does have a Dragon Punch and a Fireball and a Hurricane Kick. I hope so. It's, it's, it's not... I mean, Evil Ryu is straight up like Raging Demon. These both these characters have the Raging <laughs> oh, Demon. Come on. Yeah. So it's. Uh, uh, violence. Yeah. Is who I am. I shall is there a hole in his chest? Yeah. yeah. Sucking chest wound. Wow. Are you ready? Fight. All right. Commence doing fireball motions until you figure out all the moves. So he's, you know, he's got this uh, over. Uh, his, I guess it's not an overhead hit, is it? And I think uh, with with Oni, you, if you do the fireball motion, hold punch down, you'll charge it up. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow! It goes yeah, through. So you can charge up a second hit on it. Oh. I saw what you were trying to do there. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh! Does not appear to have an air fireball? Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing it right. Uh, One or the other. I'm not sure. Oh, 
I've been playing too much Mortal Kombat, man. I barely remember how to play this game. Man. When in doubt, do a dragon punch. That's the, yeah. the answer, right? I'm all like trying to hit forward and block <laughs> while you're hitting me and it's not working. No breakers, dude. Uh, yeah. Focus stash, uh, dash cancels though, if I can remember. Yeah. How to do that. Do you, uh, do you keep up with, like, the, the SRK scene, like, the, the real hardcore audience, like... You know, I, I, I tried, uh, you know, to... And I watched some tournaments here and there, and, and I have a basic understanding of at least what those guys are talking about. Right. I mean, that's what I'm wondering about, is just kind of, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. That works. Uh, I'm just curious how those guys are receiving this update. Uh, not especially well, really? as I understand it. It's, okay. uh, you know, some of the balance changes, and, and also... It sounds like the current complaint right now uh, is that Yun and Yang are uh, top tier, or are, are like the top tier now. God tier, you might something, say? Something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, you know, th there have already been tournaments where, like, the bulk of the top eight ends up being some mix of Yun and Yang. Great. Alright. I'll take Yang. Alright. Let's embarrass ourselves more. Sure. I don't know. The, the fighting game scene is really interesting to me, but it, it's. I don't. I wonder. It doesn't seem like a really inviting environment. No. And and for a while not. there, when this game was first coming out, it seemed like it was again. You know, and it was like yeah, like new people were getting into fighting games and all this stuff, and it just seems like. You know, it's it's. I don't want to generalize and say everyone's like this, but it's like it's. Seems a little less inviting I feel like than it was. The, the a people, year, a year the people, ago even, but yeah, two years ago. The people who are willing to be friendly about games like this, uh, their interest in stuff like this is pretty ephemeral. You know, it's like they play it for a month, and you have fun with God. I have no idea. What? Just hitting are, buttons over here, man. These guys I like, forgot which one I was. These guys. I, <laughs> I'm the dude with the hat. I got. I'm the one with the Fey hairstyle. Uh, maybe charge some charge moves, maybe. I mean, we could pause and look. I. Uh, it's an easy to do that? answer to this. Who wants to do that? You want to spend time looking at menus when you can just flail around blindly. So not, true. Not knowing what you're doing. Oh shit. That was a combo. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Wow. All right, that works. Custom combo there. That's kind of cool. Is that a Street Fighter Three thing? No. That's or, a, well, I, I don't know if that is just a custom combo, like a like an alpha style oh, or right. what it is, but right. Something. Any new backgrounds in this thing? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, there might be one. But... <clears throat> uh, one of the things that uh, I found pretty disappointing about this update is they don't... Uh, they did not create new challenge mode trials for the new characters. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, so... Uh, in fact, you know, it's... it's they, when you load up challenge mode when you're in arcade edition mode, it says we're reverting to Super Street Fighter 4 regular edition. Lame. So they didn't even like adjust it for the whatever balance oh, changes they made. That's, or, a, or that's a real shame. Got a skateboard. No rematch? Okay, cool. No rematch today, yeah. pal. I'm uh, I'm good on these guys. God tier or not. Uh, that's kind of a shame. I mean, obviously, you know, there, there's balance changes and there's all the like matchmaking and replay and whatever stuff, but. In terms of content, is it basically just four new characters and some balance stuff? Yeah, and yeah, that's, that, that's really the, the crux of it. And it's, uh, you know, again, I, I don't want to generalize because, like I said, I, I kind of only follow that stuff in, in, a, in a passing fashion right. these days. But the reaction to Arcade Edition seems like it hasn't been all that favorable. Destination confirmed. Do you think they're done with Street Fighter 4 for a while? Yeah, I think they, they kind of have to be, right? Yeah. I mean, two years since that game came out. Yeah, I mean, you know, they've got Marvel vs. Capcom 3 out now, which could probably use some additional support. Um, sure. But I mean, or they've got Street Fighter Cross Tekken yeah, coming that, up. That seems like the big focus now. They were they were definitely pushing that at uh, E3 pretty hard. Yeah. And I'll, I will be really interested to see how that game is received. Uh, God, that game is weird. Because it, it, is, it is a really weird game. It's a fucking crazy game. It's... Uh, and I, I just, I, you know, I enjoy it because it seems like a weird hack, but I, I have a feeling that people that take this stuff a lot more seriously than I do yeah. will think it's total bullshit. <laughs> or or I mean, that's that's my theory. Even if that's the case, that'll be entertaining to watch. Damn. 
That said, I, I wish I could go to Evo this year. And we'll yeah. see. And it'd be nice to go. But. Are they going to have uh, old Street Fighter Tekken at Evo? Uh, maybe. It's uh, the the NorCal Regionals. Like, NorCal Regionals 9 is coming up pretty soon here. And they are going to have it there. Yeah, Capcom's pretty big about coming out to stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, just bringing stuff. And yeah. that, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. I just wonder if, if this market is still growing. Yeah. Like Mortal Kombat came out, and that, that probably brought more people back into the fold. Right. And you know, Namco's got another Soul Calibur, and Tekken Tag Two coming, and that'll do some stuff, I'm sure. But I, I wonder if uh, if at some point we've reached peak fighting game yeah. for this second phase, kind of this, this new resurgence of it. Market is kind of getting saturated here. I mean, it's all these old favorites coming back. You know, you got your Street Fighter, you got yeah, your Mortal Kombat, yeah. you but got, like now you got all the old game. favorites have kind of come back. Yeah, you've for got, the most part. Yeah. Like, what, what else is there? I mean, you know, until somebody steps up and, and busts out a new Primal Rage, I, th I think that... Exactly. Pretty much done. Where's a new Bloody Roar game? Yeah. Old oh, Bloody Roar. Yeah, all right, let's just play some regular dudes. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not in tune enough with the game to really know what the balance changes are for, for the different characters. It's kind of interesting to see Capcom even doing that, though. It seemed like they were pretty reluctant to rebalance for a long time, right? Or was that... Uh, that was kind they, of my they, impression. They made some balance changes in Super. Well, yeah, sure. But, I mean, in, just terms, in terms of, like, patches coming out. Like, yeah, they quiet, haven't been, like, hot... It doesn't been hot fixes right. and stuff like, like that. Like, Marvel, they stuff. straight up just patched that game and fixed some stuff huh. at one point. Right. Um, like, it's been, it's been real weird to see the Mortal Kombat guys on Twitter, like, talking about, like... Oh, the, 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 the Sector versus Kung Lao matchup is going to change a lot right. in the next patch, you know? It's like they're patching it like a shooter or something. Yeah, or like a PC shooter. But I mean, that's, you know, I, I think that's a good way to look at it. You know, look at it the same way they look at StarCraft or, or like a shooter. Right. When they're making these changes, like, you know, put out patch notes. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I love patch notes. Start updating your plan file again. Yeah. Oh. Ugh. I had a, a, a moment of near weakness uh, when I was buying the DLC for this where I almost bought all the costumes they put out <laughs> too. And then Wait. realized, like, this dude, there's no way I'm going to play enough of this to warrant that. Are there new ones for Super, or when did those come out? Uh, they've been releasing costumes for this thing. Yeah, there, there were new ones for Super, and they released even more after that. It's Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I remember the initial round when 4 came out, when people were kind of disgruntled about that stuff. Yeah. They've definitely put out more since then. That stuff must be selling if they keep making it. But it was like the the costume DLC would have been more than the cost of getting arcade edition wow. and this for is, all of it. This is what fifteen bucks. Yeah. You know what? Uh, Jesus. If nothing else, good on them for not just putting out another retail disc. Right. Like at least they learned from their mistake last time. Any sense of what the the price is going to be on this disc re-release? I would bet it would be forty. Forty, just like super, right? Yeah. That this is uh, my guess is that, that that those copies will replace. Yeah, like they're just gonna sell through the old inventory right. and just yeah. get yeah. That makes sense. Man, that was brutal. <laughs> I did not enjoy that much at all. All right, anything else to look at in here? Maybe oh, let's, do, let's get into the fight and then we'll, we'll check match. out some replays. All right, cool. See if we can find some people that are actually good at this game, playing see this what, game. Uh, see what Daigo or Justin Wong have been up to, except they would not, be, they, they they would not be playing, be playing on the 360. Yeah, sure. and, yeah. It'd be cool if there was some cross-platform stuff there. Yeah, it'd be nice. I, th I think that's something where, you know, because because Evo bought all those PS3s, Yeah. you know, oh, they're, they're is, playing a lot of stuff on PS3. Is that how it works? Is that like PS3 is like the official console of Evo or I something? Think, I, you know, not maybe not official console, but, but it might as well be, it sounds like. That's kind of weird to have a such an explicit preference like that, but maybe it just makes it easier to have controllers around and I don't know. Well, the story I heard, and it could just be, you know, completely apocryphal or something like that, but uh, the story I heard is this, that since they did Tekken, which only came out on PS3, like Tekken 5, they had a bunch of PS3s. That makes sense. So when it came time for future games, they were like, well, we already have all these systems, so... Sure. Again, I, I don't I don't know if that is legitimately the case or not, but I'll believe it. Oh. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That looked pretty cool. All the, yeah, all the, like, ultras and stuff in this game have always looked amazing. Damn. I think you should grow your hair out like that, dude. All right, I'll work on that. I'll start today. Is this, uh, this is where you fight Seth? Yeah. This is from Super. I never got around to playing Super, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's the same. It's like the wrecked version of that, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Fuck. 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 Oh. I keep trying to hit you on the on the, the way down. Oh. Def definitely some Street Fighter cross tech and talkers. Uh. All right, let's see if we can find some replays for people that actually know what they're doing. Sure. I'm good with that. What's the uh, what's the sleaziest or most off-putting title that you've seen in this? Uh, I don't know. New replays are I followed someone, so that 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 must be what what's going on there. Yeah, so it's just saving replays from from people I followed. That's pretty cool. I followed, I, b I believe, like one of the first or second place guys on the leaderboard. Where did those uh, Where did those ratings for the match come from? Do you, is that just cumulative from people watching them? No, like the or, B plus or whatever. I yeah. think that might be their their individual player ratings or something. Oh, okay, that has nothing to do with the quality uh, of the not, match. I'm not sure. Okay. Mission start. It's the battle of the century! Those readouts are pretty crazy. I've never seen this before. Yeah. That is some hardcore data porn. <laughs> This doesn't seem that. It's not especially crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was pretty crazy. That was pretty good. That was that was not bad at all. Especially because uh, if I remember, that move is pretty hard to execute. That guile move. Oh, it's. I mean, it's like a. It's like a. It's down like a diagonal. I mean, like once a, once you get it, it's not. Yeah, it's not that hard. Some, to make some of the diagonals out. are hard to pull off, but. Seems like a highly technical match. Anytime you see, like the, the little, the little bit of Evo footage I've watched. Anytime you see the fighters just sort of like, kind of standing still and sort of like, fainting back and forth without yeah. actually attacking. It's like you know they're both just waiting for each other to move. Yeah, like that's when you know they're playing at a high level. Or a higher level than you or I. At least. Certainly, certainly, yeah. Other than that, My tendency I'm, is to go for it at all times. Yes, yes. And and that's why I lose a lot of fights. Yep, same here. Uh, typically, when nothing is happening, I jump in. Yep, over and Which over is and the, over. The, the, it's one the of the worst, worst thing you thing can do. You, things you can do. But I, I've been unable to breed that out of me. Yeah. Uh, the reason is that when you're moving forward on the ground, you're not blocking. Yeah. And it just feels like you're leaving yourself open. I don't know how to get around that. Uh, Actually, you know I do. The way I got around that was just accepting that I'll never be that good at fighting games. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'm okay with that. Uh, so they got it broken up by character here. Let's kind of see the, the different guys here. So unfortunately, there's no way to just go, like, show me all of the, the four new characters. But we can actually just go into boss here and maybe we can find some good 
Oni replays. Oh, we've apparently joined in with a bunch of other players here. Oh god. And they're all in Japan. Yeah. Oh man. We're just hanging out watching some watching some replays, y'all. Well, it's just This isn't even Is this this isn't even a, a, an arcade edition replay. <laughs> I wonder if we're actually chatting with them. If, yeah. If, if this Connect microphone is, is picking us up, I'm, just, and I'm waiting for some voices to chime in. I say, shut up. And, and... Let's get started. Fight. Yeah. All right, this seems like a match where they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. This game in guy has got quite the life lead. Oh. Pretty serious APM over there. <laughs> oh. Oh man. This is it? Yeah. Watching this stuff for me is how I imagine watching Pro StarCraft is for a lot of people. It's like you kind of get a sense of when they know what they're doing. Right. But you don't understand the ins and outs of why they're as good as they apparently are. Assuming these guys are even good, I, yeah. I have to imagine that... They have a lot of PP. Sure. If there are people lining up to watch their replays, they must be alright. And it's one of the things with the with Arcade Edition, they've got that elite version of these channels, so you're get, only getting people that have a lot of PP. Right. It's kind of filtering out the, the lower guys. So bare minimum, you're getting people that have played a whole lot. Sure. I'm kind of surprised to see a lot of people, by a lot I mean four, uh, people in Japan playing this version of the game. Like, 360 is so scarce over there. Yeah. It's, uh... You would assume the PS3 version is, is, is by far the leader. Well, there's, a, you know, a certain type of, uh, you know, game fan over there that is very into... American games, it's what, you know, it's like you go into import shops in Japan, right. those things exist. There right. are specific types of players that very much want the Call of Duty sure. stuff. But, you know, this is a, a pretty Japanese-inspired uh, yeah. or developed, even, game. So, I figure most of the competition is on the PS3 over there. I'm, I'm sure you're right. Also, it could be a time of day thing. You know, it's, it's noonish around here. Sure. Maybe not a lot of people in the States. Watching replays of uh, sure. yeah, we can so we can we can drop out of the elite stuff uh, anytime we want here. Oh, I see that uh, I see they've licensed DA's battle log technology. <laughs> That's nice to see. So you can That's actually search by player here if you want to see specific dudes. So now we got a dude in here. Exciting. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think that that about covers <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Um, at least you'll get a sense of what this is. Um, but you know, at the same time, I think anyone who is still uh, into Street Fighter Four probably has already picked this up. Right. I mean, and, and yeah, mid middling reception or not, like you kind of need this if you're still trying to keep up with this game, right? Like, I was, ta I was talking to Jared last <laughs> night, and he said the fighting game community does not move back. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, he he would know if anybody does. Yeah. Says, oh, <laughs> he was saying like, oh, Alpha Three is no good. Alpha Two is dead forever. <laughs> Arcade Edition's not that great. Nope, not going back to Super. Yep. Well, it's too bad in a way. Yeah, but, uh, I guess. You know, that's. Uh... I mean, there's something to be said for having standards, though. You know, like for like this is the state of the game at the moment. And this is what people are playing. Right. Like if you have if you and fracture if you, you fracture yeah, the exactly. community already, 
I mean, there are already people, you know, adopting one game over the others. You know, right. there's a lot of these pockets of different games being played, and if even those split into subgroups, it's just like the Evo becomes a nightmare to run at some point. Well, you know, they, they take the biggest games and put them on the main stage, then run side tournaments sure. or, you know, just weird people running cash games. Somebody's got to be playing Jackie Chan somewhere. That's why I want to go to Evo. At all times, that man. That is why Dude. I want to go to Evo. Man, that would be awesome. <laughs> we should, when is that? Uh, end of July. Hmm. Yeah. Let's revisit that possibility. Yeah. But for now... For now, this is out now for, yeah. uh, for 15 bucks. $15. If you're, if you're into that sort of thing. And the disc version... Disc version will be out end of the month. It'll be also be out on PC in early July. Oh, that's right. Okay. <coughs> so that's cool. That is cool. That they went back around and did that. Yeah. All right. Bye. See you later. <laughs>